So in today's video I'm going to show you how we can do the watercolour smooching technique and this is a quite a simple technique and you're going to get different results every single time we do this and I have sped up my video here um, to make it go through a bit quicker for you as well. So to start with my shimmer white cardstock measures 14 and a half by 10 centimetres and I've temporarily heated that to my grid paper. I apply some colour directly onto my um, non-stick surface sheet that I've got here and I'm spraying it with my mini mister one or two times to, to wet that and then picking that colour up using my acetate I then move that and smooch that onto my, my shimmer white cardstock. To clean the colour away I just used a wet one and some paper towel um, to clear the colour and then apply my next colour down. In this case this one here is Mellow Mumbo and once again I picked up my colour with my window sheet and then I'm smooching that around blending that colour in slightly with my um, pumpkin pie. Now all the colours that I used here and the supplies that I've used you can find on my blog along with some tips and techniques on how to do this, this technique today. Next to make sure that this is all fully dry before I continue I am just running my heat tool over that or you can set it aside to dry also if you prefer. For my greeting it comes from the Thankful Thoughts stamp set and I'm using the thank you so much um, greeting but I don't want the full wording and so to do that I have masked off the bottom part of my portion of my greeting and um, with using some washi tape so you can use um, a post-it note or some masking tape with you whatever it works best for you and I've inked this up using my Memento black ink. And next I've gone ahead and I've remasked that greeting again and I've inked this up using my Versamarker ink because we're going to hit emboss this. So I've covered this here using my clear embossing powder and with my heat tool I am running this over until that, that embossing powder has melted. To finish off my card I'm simply using my, my corner punch and I'm punching, um, rounding off the corners here of my um, project and then I'm going to adhere this using some liquid glue straight to my card base which is a standard card size using basic black cardstock. If you would like to see more video tutorials like this one be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.